How's that to start a video with a TR6 baby from the 70s and some kids screaming? Hopefully I didn't get them screaming, but anyway, that is a great cue to start a video right here in Point Claire, uh, one of the oldest towns here in Montreal, and some beautiful old homes. And I'm on my way to, to Beaconsfield to go meet my cousin, actually, to spend some time with him. You know, he's intellectual, intellectually challenged. Oh, great. I started the video and there's fucking scrap. So we're going to avoid showing that crap. Because I hate those buses with a passion. They've taken years off my life. Seriously. Oh, oh, it's a hybrid one too on top of that. Yeah, I don't even want to get started with that crap. Oh yeah, I remember this house. It's weird. It, it looks like it needs so much work and the person mustn't have a goddamn dime to fix it up because it looks out of place in this part of town to see a place like that. But that's all right. That's what makes life interesting. It's like yours truly, you know, I carry myself with a certain amount of class, distinction, uh, respect for myself and others, but uh, I'm poor, you know, I'm just poor man. Actually, speaking of which, if you enjoy a lot of my videos, and since, uh, you know, I really don't make much money uh, uh, doing this, frankly, <clears throat> a lot of people wonder about that. I make like, like even last month I got paid, I got, I got made like 800 bucks. So uh, really that co covers mostly my rent. If you want to make a donation and support the cause, whatever it may be, uh, just uh, go to PayPal and uh, my email address is eltonmcfall at hotmail.com yeah and there's a beautiful uh, the beautiful Riviere de Prairie oh let's go take a gander actually oh look a jeep passing a jeep <laughs> that says a lot that's a beautiful Sunday morning oh my god there's people all over the place here I'm gonna get hit by a bike that's not that wouldn't be too good did I mention this is Lakeshore Drive Lakeshore Boulevard, whatever, you got the idea. Look, there's some boats there. I gotta keep track of the time though. I uh, got off the 211 bus before there and uh, gotta make sure I don't miss the other one. And uh, actually, I came down here also. I had an ulterior motive. I wanted to film a GMC, an 80s GMC uh, C7000 delivery truck I'd seen down here. But damn it, it wasn't there. I should have friggin' got off the bus the last time I saw it frankly and I did not well it's supposed to be like this all day you know nice and uh, partly cloudy partly sunny I don't have a problem with that because it's supposed to go up to like 31 32 degrees Celsius and uh, frankly like so many of you, I'm just not I'm pretty much sick of the heat right now you know look at that guy he's zooming zoom 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 you know the little little party there on the water uh huh Little marina there, sailboats. Sailing, take me away to where I get that feeling. Look at the beautiful trees here. So that's not a reason why I don't mind coming up here to once in a while to spend time with my cousin and it gives me a break from the urban rat race with smog and pollution and dust and too many people, too many cars, so many buildings and everything compact it together yeah it's fun but it can be irritating i just find it irritating i don't know i just i sometimes miss the old days of living in pierrefonds you know which was wide open like this suburbia you know and uh, it was nice so beautiful old homes look at that eh the balcony and everything fantastic yeah keep driving corolla it's just a uh, just you look another corolla ugh ugh boring all right, so my bus should be coming in about 12 minutes or so. Keeping track of that there. I love this camera. This amazing camera. This power shot. Awesome, awesome camera. Hey, look at that. Hey, you don't see those every day, huh? Yeah, they're worth a pretty penny too, those uh, three-wheeler bikes. More scrap coming there. I'm not filming that. No, I don't want to uh, acknowledge them whatsoever. Fucking Christ, I have to take those practically every day, you know? If I go out and take buses and I never take one in one day, that's amazing. That's really uh, quite the feat for me, anyway. Some of you probably don't understand, but especially if you drive, you don't take the bus well, you know? You have to take one to believe it. It's basically like my friend Marco would say, it's like riding in a container on wheels. Pretty much it. Look at the beautiful homes here. Look at that. Did our driveway is nice. I don't know. I don't know when that was built. 70s, 80s, maybe older. Hard to say. 
hard to say. Look at this street, eh, Jasper? Just like the park, eh? <laughs> not quite, not quite. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's quite a home. But uh, not enough visibility from my, my point of view. It looks pretty, uh, looks like my apartment. It looks very dark. Love that garage, though. Eh? That could be a car guy who has that right there, you know? Corvette in there, Lamborghini, Jaguar, Toyota Corolla. Yeah. I don't like walking behind people, especially when you're a big tall guy like me. It makes people a bit weary and scared, you know? Even though there's nothing to fear but fear itself. And who was it that said that? That's right. Former President Theodore Roosevelt. The only thing to fear is fear itself. There's a good looking Dodge there. That's right, buddy, just vlogging, documenting. Good looking Ram. Hmm, off white. Ooh, look at that. I love colorful cars. Even that Mini. I'm not a big fan of Minis, but it's a nice color, you know? Really? 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 You know what's stupid? That's one of the things I hate about being a Quebecer or a Quebecois, you know, is the whole language thing is just irritating. At this point in life, I'm 42 years old, I'm tired of it. Like, for example, I told you we're on Lakeshore Boulevard, right? If you take the bus, certain parts they say Lakeshore. And then in other places you'll hear they'll say Bordzulac. Well, fuck, it's the same goddamn thing, you know? Yeah, that's kind of unusual, eh? Oh man, it's gonna be hot as hell today though. It's gonna be muggy. Muggy, muggy, muggy. Kind of like, uh, kind of like uh, Cajun country, you know? Yeah. Oh yeah, and see the areas like this that are very Anglo. Oh snap! Holy shit, I was hoping to see something awesome drive by, really vintage. What is it? It's a Jaguar. Oh yeah, buddy! Oh my God, is that the real thing? Is that the real McCoy? Because you know there were companies that make replicas, eh? Take care. Oh, I didn't mean to insult you, buddy. I mean, you know. Oh, listen to that. Look at that. What? Oh, my God. It's a whole club. Yeah, man. Right on. How fitting to see these cars in a very Anglo type of town. A very English uh, type of car is the Jaguar. Look at that. The first one was an XK120 or 140. And then after that, what was the other one? The, the modern one was an F-type. I think, or XJ8, and the other one was uh, a classic, it uh, looked like a classic E-Type from the 60s, early 70s. Wow, that's awesome. I would just had a premonition before that happened. I said, I'd like to film something. Oh, snap, look at this. Oh, tabernak, yeah, man, cougar, just like my grandfather's. Holy shit. Look at that. See, this is why I love coming out here. That's amazing. Fucking just like my grandfather, Mervyn McFall. That's a 78 or 79. My grandfather had a 77, and the uh, taillights were uh, different. What a lovely home, lovely little home. Yeah, that's amazing. Holy cow. Yeah, yeah, I probably should come out here more often. I could probably just flow along and sit along this boulevard. It's always been a popular place to cruise. It's not hard to see why. Beautiful homes with colorless black cars, so typical, eh? And yet the oldies you see drive by, they're colorful. Except that first 50s one there was black, but I wonder if that was the original color, you know? Mm -hmm. See what I mean? All black, all co rich color, rich, uh, rich type cars today, Audi, Mercedes, all that, always black, 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 black. We have them in black. We have 20 in black if you want. You could have it tomorrow, delivered, you know? Look at this house here. It looks like the type of house you would see uh, as a cottage in the country, you know, up here uh, uh, north of Montreal where people go to vacation a lot, it's called the Laurentians. You're literally up in the hills and more in Heights, Mont Olympia, Mont Tremblant, Saint Sauveur and so forth. And that's the kind of house you see. Ooh, that was neat, even though it was all black. Yes, yes, I love colors. Love them. I've got to keep an eye on my, my uh, whoa, what's that? Oh, snap. Classic Porsche. Is that the 911? Yeah, I was worried that was my bus there. The 201, I need to take the 211. I gotta keep track of that. So I'm not gonna make this uh, too long there. 
Well, I gotta tell you, Point Claire, you've blown my mind. I can't believe it, how many classic cars I've seen in such a short span. I mean, these homes are really marvelous, but you know, these homes will be here forever. They'll outlive everybody. But the uh, old cars, that's a whole other story. Whole bag of apples. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna think good I'm gonna go to the other side because the lighting is better. Even though there's no sidewalk there, that's typical uh, of the burbs. Where are we at? Margaret Ann. See my, uh, is it Margaret? Yeah. Or should I doubt my own eyesight? Every fucking car going by is black. <sighs> We're gray. Oh, fucking shit. There's a typical home, typical suburbia home, 50s, 60s. It's almost not typical to see a home like that around here, actually. It's very, uh, I don't know, middle class or less even, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at these streets. Look at these beautiful streets. Look at the, the tree lines filmed all of every property. I love that. Absolutely love that. Look at this street. It's called Old Church. What church? Oh, it must be the one down there where my cousin got married, maybe. You see those guys? They almost went into me. That's why I don't like these type of cyclists, these speed demon guys that are fucking spandex and helmets and sunglasses. And it's like, man, you know, they're always going too fast and they could fucking run into and kill you. And that's why exactly... Wow, look at that. Fantastic. And that's exactly why, in my opinion, that's why the... the um, what was that? The city has decided to clamp down not only on motorist infractions, but cyclists as well. Hey, look at that. More old vehicles. Christ, that looks like an old belt truck. Let me see that there. No, yeah, it does look like an old belt truck. Holy shit. Typical silver. Econoline. Wow. Another Dodge. Look at this fucking guy. I saw that. I got you. I saw you doing there, buddy. That's a no-no. You couldn't be patient and wait. No, because I got a Volkswagen. I don't have patience. Fuck me running. That's dangerous, you know? Two-lane blacktop. All right. I'm going to stop over there at the bus stop over there. Yeah. Look at that tree line. Look at those pines. Outstanding. That's very odd for a house. Once again, another house that's just very average for this area. Nothing, uh, nothing uh, shick and swell, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So hopefully my bus isn't running late. It shouldn't be. There's no detours. It's Sunday. It's still Sunday morning, I think, anyway. Look at that. Wow, I love that color. Fantastic. I don't know if it's a Lexus or a Acura or a... See, this kind of looked like the house I grew up in, actually. It was just like that style. 50s style, long... Uh, the, the window types, just like that in Roxboro, though, which is north of here. And, uh, yeah, this is going to stop the tour for now, man. Right at, oh, no, I'm sorry. I said we're on Lakeshore, and now it says Bo Boulevard Beaconsfield. Look, there's the types I was telling you about, these guys here. Shit. I hate it when they do that, you know? I fucking hate that. That's like Jean Talon, for example. You're on Jean Talon Street, you know, in, in, uh, in fucking uh, whatever, t uh, s s uh, Ville Saint Laurent, Côte des I should say. And then, like, when you get to uh, a TMR, it changes name to, um, oh, Christ, I don't know, some English name, some Anglo name. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. I sure did. I was pleasantly surprised by all of them beautiful vehicles, even that Econoline. And I got a nice straight view of my bus coming. And uh, got to go see my cousin and, uh, yeah, see what else the, the day uh, brings. Maybe he'll bring me luck again. I'll get some fire trucks responding for the second time. Ah! And I just fucking realized that the guy with the Lincoln Town Car is just down that way, but I can't miss this bus. What time is it now? Yeah, there's a guy down there with a fucking Mercury Colony Park. And then there's more scrap. But it's 11.30. I can't really... Oh, shit, there it is. Fuck. Nope, okay. Okay, guys, take care. Bye-bye.